What's going on, Extreme Gang? We're back with the other product preview of the week. It's 2020 Tops Heritage Baseball. And if you haven't checked the other video out on Panini One, I suggest you do so so you guys can see what's coming out. Real quick, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. That's why it's on the screen. Don't worry, there will be other slides afterwards. Make sure you also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when the videos are up, when we go live and everything. We will be live again this weekend. Discount code will go for the store, ExtremeCardBreaks.com. And we release our new video on Friday, which will be our YouTube subscriber giveaway. It's a box, the brand new Tops 2020 uh, Heritage Baseball Hobby Box. Hobby, not the stuff you're going to get out of Walmart and Target. Okay, real quick, I'm going to flip the screen here. Let's talk about 2020 Heritage. Boom, there we go. All right, this stuff's going right now on David Adams and blow out, I think, for around $100 a box. We will be selling the other couple boxes that we're not going to either do a video on or give away. Um, we're looking at about $90 a box. That's shipped. If you want it ripped at night live, we can rip it live for you. See what you get. I'll case it up. Whatever you need onto it, you still get all the cards in the box. I'm not one of them people who keep your base cards. Alrighty here. So let's talk 2020 Heritage. I like the idea behind Heritage, and it's mostly due to the autos that are in it. This year, I think, is going to be very hard because you're looking at the 71 Tops baseball design. That was so hard in, back in the 70s in getting, you know, a great card because of the black border. I think this, I don't know, I'm going to have to look at them. But it, you have to be gentle opening those packs up. And if you get a box from me and want me to open it, it's going to be slow because I want to make sure that the corners don't, they will be easier to see ding corners, the whiting, the centering onto these. Um, I think it's going to be a hard grade this year. I really, really do. Let me know in the comments if you what you guys think. Is it going to be a hard grade? Do you think it's going to have a lot of white showing with the corners and the uh, edges or not? I, I think it is, honestly. Again, this comes out Wednesday. We'll have our shipment in on Friday of it. I, like I said in the previous video, I'm kind of superstitious. I like to wait a couple days before my pre-order ships because every time we get it on release day, um, it, it's been so-so, you know, with the big hits. I've waited till after release day. I've pulled Zion autos and everything else, so no idea. We're just going to go with what's working. All right, inside you guys will see there's real one autographs. That's the one thing I like about the products. The real one autographs are on card. You have like a red version everything. Um, there are the chrome base variations to the cards. I don't know all the variations. I have to sit there and go back and forth between them because... There's just so much with them, and with all the products, with all these variations, especially when you start talking Gypsy Queen, Allen and Ginter and everything, it takes me a while to really get down to what the variations are. You also have the Clubhouse Collection Relics, I think is pretty cool. You also got the ones where it had the quarter diamond. It's like numbered out of 15 or less, I believe. And you got the box loaders. So if you do get it from us, I do have the uh, case for the box loader, um, the top loader for it, actually, with the sleeve. So you will get that shipped with it. Each box on this contains one autograph or relic and a box loader. I think we were pulling four autographs per case last time. Um, I could be wrong. The rest were all relics afterwards. So the autographs are hard hits into this. They are very, very hard. All right, let's flip on it. Last year we pulled that Juan Soto Redemption. That thing was sweet. Okay, so it's 500 cards um, for the set. And then you got the 2020 rookies. And then you got, what is it, 401 to 500 a short print, one in every three packs. You got white bordered parallels. That'll be interesting, to be honest. Limited to 50, hobby only. And then the flip stock parallels, which are limited to five, are only in hobby only. This is why we get hobby and we don't really do retail because the only thing is the refractor parallel hot boxes and stuff like that. Um, hopefully we get one so I can show you. They look pretty cool. All right. Let's see here. Throwback uniform variations this year. Action image variations. Mini base variations. Number to 100. And you get the silver team name variations as well. You got the chrome cards, of course. We're flipping. 
All right, so this is the Clubhouse Collection. I think it's really cool because think about it. You get Hank Aaron, Austin Riley in a card, and you got a bat piece of Hank Aaron. I, I really like these. They say they're all hand numbered to 25 or less. Pretty cool. You got singles like Mike Trout. Pull something like that. You got some money. I'll leave this up here just for a second. If you guys want to just hit pause, you guys can read it, look at it, and all that stuff there. All right, I'm going to flip to the last slide here. So you got the relics here, of course. For some reason, I thought I had the real one autograph picture. I guess I must have forgot getting that one off of there. But you don't forget, the real one autographs is what people want out of it besides the variations. So those real one autographs, the right player sells for a lot of money, especially if you start getting, I think it's the red ink that was the more limited of the two. So you got there with the relics. There's a 1971 mint. The nickel is 15 or lower. If you get a dime, 10 or less, quarter, number to five, half dollars or one to one. I think last year we pulled two nickels and a quarter. I'd have to go back and look. Got some postage stamp relics. It's kind of cool, number to 50. Baseball cut signatures. I haven't looked at the checklist on the cut signatures. I don't know if there's no Babe Ruth or nothing. I did see the celebrity cut checklist. I mean, there's, there's some good names on to there, ones that are uh, no longer with us, deceased. So, odds of pulling one, you just never know. Any given Sunday, just like the movie, any given Sunday. All right, guys, that's pretty much it with 2020 Heritage. I just want to give this out real quick so everybody can see what it looks like. Again, we'll have some boxes that will be left over. I think four. I'm going to open one for a video and then one for a giveaway. We had a half case. I think it was six boxes. So, before left. I believe we're at $90 a box. It may go down a couple of dollars. It may go up depending on where we have to be at on to it. Again, you could have it shipped. You could have it ripped live. Um, I do have the cases for the box loaders, as always. I believe I still have the sleeves, too. I just don't have, like, a big one-touch team bag, so you will get the uh, painter's tape, and it'll be smashed between some cardboard. Well, not smashed, but placed between some cardboard. All right. Thank you, everybody. And again, subscribe to us on YouTube. I think as of now, we're 49 people away from 2,000. 49. That is some insane numbers. So make sure you give us. We'll do a 2,000K subscriber giveaway. I think you guys will like it as well. Again, this week we're giving a box of this hobby, uh, of hobby of 2020 Tops Heritage Away. Video about Friday. Uh, instructions will be in the video how to get into it. It'll cut on Sunday. We'll announce the winner and get it shipped out. All right. Again, thank you everybody for watching the videos. If you guys like this, drop me drop me a like or comment so I know to keep doing these. We'll do them for about two or three weeks, and then we'll see where we're at on to it. Other than that, good luck this week on your ripping. Hopefully you guys pull some big stuff out. And I will see you when we go live either Friday or Saturday night. Take care.